My name is Vahid Chitsas, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this afternoon. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Okay, so hi everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm super excited for this. My name is Frida Engström. I'm 27 years old. I live in Stockholm, Sweden. So, and what I do is that, so it's 9 p.m. here, so that's why I say good evening. And what I do is that I work with marketing. Our niche, niche is to help SMEs mainly uh, with paid traffic to have a continuous stream of clients. And then we help them implement a loyalty program so they can convert their customers to loyal customers and therefore increase their revenue. So that's what I do. And I'm also involved in a company um, that works with coaching within human potential and success. So we do a lot of Napoleon Hill's work um, which is super exciting. So what are some of the Napoleon Hill principles that you think entrepreneurs should be implementing? Well, what I really got, um, so I always been a person who's really good at taking decisions. If you would ask my mom, I think she's in this live at the moment, actually, she would say that when I was a kid, you know, we went into the, the store, like the toy store, and I would go straight away and take one that I, I'm gonna have this. And it doesn't matter if we were there for an hour and my sister, she would just like be choosing for for an hour. And I, I had one and I stick to that. So I've always been really good at taking decisions. And I think that is a very, um, a very good quality, uh, as something that you kind of have to master. You have to take like quick decisions because when you start to think about things, you weigh in everything that ever basically happened to you, which means that you won't get an accurate answer. So the decision making is, is definitely one of those things. Decision making is the most important. Indecisiveness is one of the biggest cancer that an entrepreneur could have. If you can't make decisions fast enough, I mean, it's almost most of the time it's better to make the wrong decision, but make it fast <laughs> instead of not making it. After I you have been given it. all the detail that is necessary to make a decision, then after that it's just procrastination. Here's my other question for you. If there are entrepreneurs out there that they're stuck, they don't know what they should be doing or they're stagnating, what are some of your recommendations for those type of individuals? So definitely what we are all trained to do from a very young age is to look at our present results and let that influence our actions. So that's kind of how it works. You know, you have a present result. So let's say you're broke, for example, you start a company and you're broke and you start looking at your bank account and then you see that you're broke, you will have like being emotionally involved in that feeling and that will also determine your actions so what you have to do is you have to kind of look at like who you want to become um and so let's say i want to be a billionaire or i want to be like a super successful business owner or the best personal trainer whatever you want to be so you have to like act from that person what kind of thoughts would that person think and how would they act and then you internalize them to your conscious mind and then your subconscious mind and that will determine your new actions because your actions that you take today like the person you are today it's not going to be the same action as the person you who you are becoming is going to take so right. i would definitely look at that um how important is it for individuals to get like someone like yourself, a coach, a mentor, an instructor, uh, you know, seeking help from expert? Because I feel like a lot of individuals, especially with this day and age, I feel like a lot of older people with a lot mm -hmm. of life wisdom, they come into the new era of Internet, social media, all of these different things that are happening at the same time. They're kind of forced into it because that's where the clients are at. They come in, but they have the mindset that because they have been successful in the previous businesses, maybe they're not as open-minded in getting help, or maybe their ego doesn't allow them to ask for help. What are some of your advice there? Well, definitely. I totally agree. Well, if we look at the mentor part, so right now I was a person who didn't really have mentors. Um, before before I became an entrepreneur, um, I I had some like I could seek advice from, but before that it was it was not even you know I didn't even think about it I didn't really know it existed, and right now I have tons of mentors and I think it's the most important part that anyone can do because 
you are not, you have to have different kind of angles in what you're doing. So you want to, you want to seek help from different kind of people. And you also want people to, who push you forward. Because normally what happens with most people is that you have a group of people, which is normally the ones you spent, like your, maybe your childhood friends or your family and whatever it could be. And if you are the person who are like, bam, I'm going to go in and, and become this successful entrepreneur and they're stuck in the, the, the normal way of doing things, um, it's not going to be a group that push you forward. So therefore, you also have to seek like advice from people who have done what you want to do because no one else can show you how to do it. So it's best to ask them. Uh, that's definitely my opinion. I think everyone should have more than one mentor. And I think the, like the best investment you can do in your, like is to invest in yourself. Because when you know, if you're on an airplane, for example, none of us are on an airplane at the moment, but <laughs> when we are, then they always say that you have to put up your mask first on yourself and then you help children or other people. And that's the same thing when you are growing. You have to like get to know yourself first, start living inside out and have the right kind of mindset and then you can help others to go along. And that's kind of, you have to push it, like pay it forward also. Definitely. I mean, but you know, for parents, it's usually not like that. They try to do everything for their children and you know their family members. So I know there's a lot of emotions in there. But in business, if you're not successful, you can't teach other people how to be successful. You gotta set the pay. You gotta set the right example. But I feel like I feel like I have two different types of coaches. I got coaches that they don't know that they're my coaches, yeah. and then there are coaches that they know that I'm getting coaching from them. So yeah. When, when initially I started in self-development, there wasn't anything that you could buy like the way it is right now, courses, mentorship, mm -hmm. mastermind groups, all of that. So it was more like books and a little bit tiny binding of videos and audio here and there. YouTube wasn't mm -hmm. like the way it is today. But I feel like going and seeking out the mentor is the first part. What Who the mentor is is secondary. I think you should go seek out that individual and be able to get the right because i mean if i don't know nothing about marketing and i come to you you potentially are going to save me five ten years of, of of pain and suffering and waste of time and opportunity the way i look at it is that is profitable for me to come to you and learn that so i don't have to go learn it on my own and learn all the mistakes as i do it unless i get lucky and i figure everything out on my own so my <laughs> next question is this what are some of the challenges that entrepreneurs should watch out when they do branding and when they do marketing? Because I know they're different, but a lot of people put them both in the same category. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. So what I think that you should do when you do marketing, so you should have a strategic plan. So what do you want to accomplish with your marketing? And also, unfortunately, there's not a lot of people out there who master, like, if let's say social media, like you can be really good at ad copy, like, or content writing and all of that. And you can maybe engage your followers in that kind of way. But when it comes to, for example, paid traffic, there is not a lot of people who are really good at it. Normally you go in there and as you say, most people, they think that they want to do it on their own. So they go in there, they write a post, maybe get like a couple hundred likes or something if you have a big audience and then you just boost that post. And what happens is that you think this is going to take your money. <laughs> You're going to get a really low uh, reach. And uh, so you try to raise the budget and that means that you're going to get the same reach, but for more money. So you really have to master the algorithm. So that's why it's also important to take help as well as finding your niche, like finding your market message is also something. So for example, for us finding our market um, niche, we don't want to say we do paid advertisement for everyone because we don't uh, and we shouldn't do either. So what we want to do is we want to find our unique combination. So what we did was that we got really good at paid traffic and then we hooked them up with a loyalty program to make sure that we don't have to pay again for those clients. And that became our unique combo. That is awesome. That is fantastic. So here's my last question for you. 
if individuals are stuck in their business, I know they need to seek help and, and do all that stuff. But sometimes it's not easy to move away. How important is it to have a plan or consult with somebody on their planning or business strategy for their business? Because maybe they don't want to use all your services, but can they come and consult with you? Like they don't have to become a client forever. Like can they consult? Why is consulting with the per people that are expert is important? Well, um, if I got your question right there, um, I will definitely say that you should, you can come and consult, of course. And also right now, so if we look at, there's so many people putting out like free content everywhere you can take part of. So, so you, you have to study, like, even though, um, like knowledge is power. So I, I, I would say like the right knowledge is power that you can actually use. So when you want to learn something, there's tons of free stuff out there. Um, a lot of people who do consulting or are in different kind of niches, like sometimes when I feel stuck on, for example, ad copy or whatever, I go on YouTube and I just like how to write a good ad copy. Maybe if I know it anyway, I, I have to have someone else's input. So that's a really good way to do it. And also, of course, you can get consulting most like most people offer consulting in some kind of way um, for their businesses. And I say definitely get, definitely get help because as you say, it can save you like two, three, five, ten 10 years of your business going forward. Just have someone look at it from a different kind of angle. I agree with that hundred percent. How do people find you? How do people find me? So best way to find me, you can uh, find me here on Instagram. Um, I am Michael is Engstrom Frida. Um, and if you want to find me on Facebook, so actually I started growing my personal brand uh, just like one and a half months ago. And so my biggest audience is Facebook. Uh, I do have a page called, it's called Friday um, and Queen of Happiness. And that's what I intend to be. Awesome. Listen, thank you so much for being here this late afternoon over there and giving us some of your time. Hopefully we can do more videos because some of the topics that you talk and just just writing ad copy, I think that's like so big. Like there could be like <laughs> 50 courses just on that topic for every niche. I mean, there's so much there. And unfortunately, regular consumers don't know that there's so much that goes behind the scenes for them to be able to buy or go through those sequences that they go through. So uh, it's not something Definitely. I want to learn. I have a lot on my plate. I don't want to learn that. So I'm, 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 I'm cool. I let the professionals do that. I, I got a lot. Of <laughs> I tried for a little bit and I, the amount of videos that were on YouTube, I was like, listen, we're not doing this. I got so much other stuff that I got to take care of myself. We'll leave yeah. that up to you. We'll let you. Do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking this time and being with us. Thank you so much for having me. A really pleasure. Looking forward to speaking soon again. You got it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.